Hi, I'm Matt with K15T and we're going to look at the Confluence mobile app. That's right, thousands of Confluence pages in your pocket. First, we'll run through some of the settings you can customize to make the app work best for you. We'll take a look at the different views in the app you can use to jump right into the page you wanna work on. Then we'll check out searching for pages in the app and using a few fun tricks to find exactly what you need. We'll take a look at the page tree and explore how you can create new pages exactly where you want them. We'll explore the editor and see what kind of pages you can create in the palm of your hand. And we'll check out how you can collaborate on the app using app mentions, comments, notifications, and page analytics. So first off, this video shows the Confluence mobile app on Android. So it looks a little bit different than what you might be seeing on iOS, for example. You might see features on your app that I'm not showing here. And that's because the Confluence mobile app is like a toddler. Even though it's small, it's changing and growing almost every day. So if your app looks different than the one shown here, that's because it's just getting better. So let's see how you can personalize the Confluence mobile app in the settings. You can pick the Confluence site that you want to use, which is great if you're working in multiple different Confluence sites, you can easily switch back and forth between them. You can also customize notifications. Now there's a few different presets here that might work for you, or you can build a totally custom notification scheme, which is really, really nice. You can also customize the theme here, which is great because I like it dark. That's right, the Confluence mobile app has a dark mode. You can also select the language for the entire app interface. By default, it's the same language that you use on your mobile device. You can set up auto locking, which is cool. So after a few minutes, it will lock you out and you have to use biometrics to get back into your content. Really great for security. And if you wanna give really quick feedback to the team on how the Confluence mobile app could be improved, you could enable Shake to give feedback. You know what they say, shaking is caring. Wait, on the mobile app, there are four main views you can use to get to your pages quickly. First off is the recent view, where you can look through all the pages that you have viewed today or in prior days. So maybe you're like, I just got back from lunch. I need to jump right back into that page I was just looking at. Look through the list, find it, tap, boom, you're there. In the spaces area, you can look at the spaces that you've starred right up at the top, and then any other spaces in the instance that you visited recently. You can also browse through all the spaces, but this is really for you to get into the spaces that you work in most frequently. In the starred area, you can see all the pages you've starred and jump into one really quickly. And in the notifications area, you can see all the notifications you've received, when you've received them, and whether or not you've taken action on them yet. No matter where you are in the app, you'll see a magnifying glass right up top, which is where you search Confluence. So I'm gonna search for smart app, which is great. I get all the results that I typically would in Confluence, but I wanna filter these down a little bit. So you can use all the same filters and wildcards you can in Confluence. Now I know, I know, finding pages is just part of using Confluence. Another important part is creating pages. So let's jump over to a space and let's make a page. So I wanna make a new event page and it's a lunch and learn. So under the lunch and learn pages, I can hit the plus button here and I'm immediately brought into the editor. So adding a great page title is always a great way to start a new page. From here, you can add any content on the page you want. In this case, I wanna add an element. So I hit this button here and I can look at all the different kinds of elements that I could add. Like for example, I could add a table. This is all customizable. So you can add or remove columns or rows, maybe add headers. Any content on the page can be spiced up with font formatting. So you can add headings or maybe bold some text. Then maybe drop a task list on the page and at mention a colleague and I don't know, throw a good emoji in there for good measure. You can also enhance the page with an image that you have on your mobile device. And then finally, maybe there's a macro that you wanna to add to the page, but you can't use it in the Confluence mobile app yet. So you could add an info panel there reminding yourself, hey, come back to the page and add that macro later. Also, if you realize you're not creating the page in the right spot, you can use this menu here and tap location to put it where you want it. Now I can come into the notifications area and I can see all of the notifications that have come in about my new page. So I can see there's a comment here that I can jump in on. Uh, I can like that right here and I can respond to a question. And also I can tap up here to see who has actually seen my page to make sure that everybody in the company has seen the new content that I've added. So that's it, the Confluence mobile app. So you can collaborate with your teammates from anywhere. But you know, that's just some of what Confluence can do. There is so much more. And at K15T, we are always looking into that. So if you wanna learn even more about how to get the best from Confluence, check out our YouTube channel, where we have lots of other videos that continue to explore how to use Confluence to share what you do best.